Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about differences between primary and secondary immune response. So here we have primary and secondary. Now, what happens is, firstly, a foreign antigen, which means an antigen from outside the body, an alien antigen, an external antigen, which the body can't recognize. It enters the body and is exposed. Okay, so when this happens, a lag phase occurs which means there's sort of a delay and in this time there aren't any antibodies being produced by the body but what happens is B cells get activated and start like uh, specif uh, specializing and differentiating into plasma cells now the lag phase for the primary immune response is around well it can be from two to three days and or it can last sometimes up to weeks and sometimes even months so in this phase the amount of antibodies which are produced is usually quite a low amount and over a p certain period of time the levels of these antibodies that have been produced uh, reduces slowly to the point where there might as well not be any antibodies it's a very very low amount and the antibodies which are produced mainly during the primary um, during the primary spare with me, the primary immune response is I oops I G M antibodies. These are the main antibodies produced. Although some small amounts of I G G antibodies can also be produced. Now in secondary immune response, this is the type of re uh, response from the immune system when the same foreign antigen is exposed into the body. So once the, y the body gets a second dose of this foreign antigen, which is the same as before, which we talked about, uh, what happens is there is a much faster immune response. And the lag phase which we talked about on primary, uh, Im uh, s primary immune response, we said it was very short can be well we didn't say it was short but we said it, it can be as short as around two three days but most of the time it's up to quite a few weeks and even months but in the secondary immune response it's very very short so just a few days uh, this is mainly because there is memory cells present and they can remember this antigen which is which was present in the body before so in response to this the amount of antibodies that are produced in response to this antigen is very high and what happens is rather than having a high level a high level of um, an antibodies and then it decreases over a period of time in this case for secondary immune response there is a high level of antibodies produced and it remains very high for a longer period of time then the main antibody which is produced in this case for secondary immune response is AGG even though very small amounts of IgM are produced so these are the main features of the primary immune response and this is kind of what happens from a basic point of view in response to having a foreign antigen inside of the body um, once the antibodies di detect in the case of the secondary immune response the foreign antigen which has been present before it initiates a response which is where the t-cells get involved more specifically the killer T cells which fit, um, engulf the antigen and destroy it within itself so this is just a basic overview of primary and secondary immune response if you have any questions write them below if you have any questions asking about primary, secondary, se primary and secondary immune response in much more detail ask the question below I'll reply straight away I'll get no a notification on my phone when someone writes a comment so just make sure you write it on Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.